Time for the main event, the Monster Factory Championship in our senior referee, Ben Barnett's hands. Hallsboro crowd is fired up for the challenger, the guarantee Mike Z. Oh, they most certainly are. The base is pumping, the crowd is jumping. And what a year Mike Z has had. Starting off 2024 as the lowly assistant to Classy Max Sterling. That was January, here we are in October and Mike is challenging for the Monster Factory Championship against this man. Wonderboy out here one more time, looking as grim as ever. The Monster Factory champion, Nick Petit, won the Monster Factory Championship just two months back at the Larry Sharp Memorial Cup. Overcoming Mike Z and Travis Jacobs in a three-way dance to win that championship. Now facing off against Mike Z one on one. the focus and certainly is focused on retaining the title and wants the camera to be focused on him. It is all about Nick Petit. Nothing Ladies else matters. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Monster Victory Championship with a one hour time limit. Introducing first the challenger fighting out of Allentown, Pennsylvania weighing 170 be the night we see a new champion. Could this be the night we see the Mike Z guarantee? Out of Westville, New Jersey, accompanied by Wonderboy Brian Morris, representing world renown. He is the 2024 Larry Sharp Memorial Cup winner, the Monster Factory Arena champion, and the winning, defending, undisputed Monster Factory champion. Nick Petit, the Monster Factory Champion. Let's roll back the clock a little bit. At the end of 2023, almost a year ago, Nick Petit was the Supersonic Champion. After that, he had a reign as a Monster Factory Tag Team Champion in 2024. He became the Arena Champion in 2024. He won the Larry Sharp Memorial Cup in 2024 and in doing so became the Monster Factory Champion. For Nick Petit, 2024 has been a very, very, very good year. 
I would say the fastest to become a Grand Slam champion here in the MFPW. Very few have achieved that honor, and he's been able to do it in less than a year. Nick Petit, though, tonight facing off against Mike Z. Quickly became a fan favorite after uh, giving his notice to Classy Max Sterling earlier this year and has really blossomed into his own. This is an incredible opportunity for Mike Z tonight and really the first major challenge to Nick Petit's championship. He took on Christian Rocco last month, was able to overcome that. And since then, he has not really defended uh, the championship on a regular basis. He's defended the arena championship. And now charging in, but meeting some right hands from Mike Z. Petit with the reversal. Oh, cross body from Z. Quickly, Mike Z. No wasted motion going on the offense against Nick Petit, the champ. One, two, three, keep counting, keep going. You don't need to stop at 10, Mike. You can keep on punching Nick Petit in the head. No one's going to fault you for it, bud. Maybe he's just worried that this Paulsboro faithful can't count beyond that. That's fair point, Ferran. Right now, Mike Z giving the champ a tour of the ring. Bouncing his head off of each of those top turnbuckles. Referee checking on the champ, Mike Z. Dominant so far in the early goings here. Slams Nick Petit down. Hooks the leg, two, no. Just a two count. My personal disdain for Wait Nick. a minute. Oh, is this it? Wasted no time. But Petit grabs a hold of the leg. Oh, my. Using that middle rope as a weapon. And just like that, the champ is back in control of this matchup. I wonder if it's like the whole tree in the forest theory. If Mike Z hits his Mike Z guarantee and doesn't announce it, did he actually hit it? It's a good point. We'd never know. It's right up there with the mysteries of the world, like how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I think somebody created a robot front and figured that out, but what Nick Petit is figuring out right now is how to control the tempo of this matchup against guarantee Mike Z. And say what you will about Nick Petit, he's not the nicest person. I don't particularly care much for him, but I do respect what he is capable of doing inside of that ring. There's a reason why he has won all those championships over the last 365 days. He is very skilled, he is dangerous. He knows how to win so many different ways. Clean, dirty, whatever. Up tempo, methodical. Submission, tip ball. Missed that drop kick though. Z going for the figure four. Locks it in. Referee checking. Wrenching back. Trying to roll over. Put the pressure now on Mike Z's knees. Up and right back over. And Batti makes his way to the ropes. Oof. Both competitors tumbling to the floor. The team might have gotten a little the worst of that landing on the, the steel ring steps. Rolled, rolled down those steps. Headbutt though, sends Mike Z down. Two, 
Referee telling these men to get back inside. Counts up to three. Ducks under that clothesline. Oh my goodness. Shoulder first into those steps. That could be a decisive factor in this matchup. This could be the turning point. Nick Petit taking some time to pose for our cameraman at ringside. See where his focus is. Right now you can see it's on the injured right shoulder of Mike Z. Really that grimace look on, it, on the face of Mike Z in pain, writhing, grasping that right shoulder. Referee count is up to five. Z's not even back to his feet yet. Referee's at nine. Mike Z just barely rolling back in, but Petit straight on him. Ready to pounce. Clubbing blows to the head. Rolling him around. Rolling choke hold. Gator roll. Petit working over the neck and that damaged shoulder. Trying to get an advantage on Mike Z. Defending his Monster Factory Championship here at Monster Mash in the main event. Oh! And showing everybody why he's champ as he sends Z over with that suplex. And now going up to that second rope, the most dangerous rope. Mike Z laying prone. In the ring, Nick Petit posing for a second. Misses on the frog splash. And that's why it's the most dangerous. Mike Z rolling out of the way. Offense now from Mike Z, knee to the midsection. Sends Petit into the ropes and follows through again with another. Trying to weaken those ribs. Mike Z up, Frog. and another knee. The ribs of Nick Petit taking several blows from the knees of Mike Z. Mike Z seeing an opening up, looking for a mic drop perhaps, but Petit reverses. Oh. These two back and forth. Over the last several weeks on TRL. Oh, backstabber using the ropes for leverage on TRL for on over the last couple weeks. World renowned and Mike Z back and forth getting in each other's business. That was all up in Z's business with that buckle plex, but it only garners two. And right back for another cover. Two. Petit not giving up. He senses he might have an opening here with Mike Z. Locking in a sleeper in the middle of the ring. Z sends Petit into the ropes and now a sleeper of his own. Crowd emphatically behind Mike Z here. Nick Petit smartly reversing out of that, using the momentum, using some body weight there to get Mike Z up and down. As we have the Monster Factory Championship on the line, the champion Nick Petit, the challenger, guarantee Mike Z. The focus, Nick Petit. Focused right now on climbing up those ropes, perhaps going once again, missed with the sp Splash earlier, but looking to go to that high rent district again. Taking too much time, looking and posing and making faces at the crowd as Mike Z comes in and gets him. Catches him. Oh! Olympic slam off the middle rope. Z 
Z needs to capitalize though and isn't able to do so. The Man. damage from earlier. That slam may have taken as much out of Mike Z as it did out of Nick Petit. Pulling out all the stops in this championship bout. Trading blows back and forth. Champion now with kicks to the challenger's midsection. Z sent into the ropes, ducks that clothesline, lands one of his own. And an elbow as well. And now, torture rack. Up on his shoulders. Into a neck breaker. Mike Z's offense on display, only a two count. Awful close to the three though. Almost caught Nick Petit. Morris clutching his chest like Fred Sanford about to have the big one. Oh, Elizabeth. I might be coming to join you at this point. The champion now, Nick Petit wrenching back. Front face lock on. Up, ah, it's rolled over. Catches the boot, spun around. Mic it, drop, mic drop. Mike drop. That's it. One, two, three. Oh, it's only a two count. Right shoulder just barely got up. And the look of shock on the face of stablemate Brian Morris on the outside speaks volumes. We know what Mike Z is capable of with that mic drop, how many times he's put people away with it. Slingshotting the body of Mike Z off the rope. Oh, and there's the ax kick. Batiste put away quite a few individuals with this here, but does not do so with Mike Z. Premature uh, victory celebration, perhaps from uh, Brian Morris trying to jump up there, but not yet, Brian. Mike Z's still in this. Flapjack. That's what I'm talking about, Mike. That's what you gotta do. Off the ropes. Rolling Blockbuster takes down Batie. It's time for on. Ducks under Morris trying to, to prevent the Mike Z guarantee. But Z aware no, Z, of his don't antics. Don't lose your focus now. Focus on the focus. Foot race ensuing around the ring. Morris into the ring. Oh, he hit his, Nick Petit just put him down with a mic drop, trying to beat him with his own move. But it didn't work. Mike Z amazingly still in this match after being hit with his own move, the mic drop. Single arm DDT. Champion is rocked. To the back of the champion's neck, Mike Z. It's time. He wants it. It's time for the guarantee. Off the ropes! What? Oh my god! He hit oh, it! He hit it. it! He finally he hit, hit the it. guarantee! Two, three! New it's champion! Back. New champion! I can't speak! He hit it! I can't speak! At long last, this is a day that will live 
in Monster Factory history, Ferran. Not just because we have a new Monster Factory champion, but because October 19th, 2024 is the day that finally Mike Z hit the Mike Z guarantee. I am in disbelief. I said it earlier, I can't speak. As the new champ celebrates in the ring with that beautiful brand new Monster Factory Championship. History made here tonight at Monster Mash. Give it up for the new champ, Mike C. And I know we're up and out sucks, but Nick Petit and Nick put on a hell of a match. Give it up for Nick Petit.